Hey, kid stuff kiddos. It's Miss Mackenzie, and I am back doing our read alouds of the Children of God Storybook Bible. If you've missed the previous ones, you can find the links and the recordings in the Kid Stuff playlist on YouTube. But today, we are going to move forward with reading stories about Jesus and who he was as an adult. And today we are starting with chapter 42, Zacchaeus Turns to Jesus. God changes hearts. If you look at this picture, you can see that there is someone up in this tree, and then there's a bunch of people down below. Let's find out what's happening. Luke 19. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. He stood on tiptoes and jumped up and down. He tried to squeeze to the front, but no one would let him. Why doesn't anybody like me, he wondered. But he knew the reason. Zacchaeus was a tax collector who had become rich by cheating the townspeople. Then Zacchaeus spied a tree. Aha, he thought to himself. I will climb that tree and have the best view of all. Then Jesus stopped under that very tree and looked up at him. Zacchaeus, Jesus called out, climb down for I am coming to your house today. Zacchaeus could not believe his ears. He jumped down and ran home to get ready. That man is a liar and a cheat, the townspeople said. Why is Jesus going to his house? Zacchaeus realized they were right, and he was ashamed. When Jesus entered his house, he said, Lord, I will give half of everything I own to the poor, and everyone I have cheated, I will pay back four times the amount I stole. Jesus smiled. Dear Zacchaeus, he said, today you have become a new man. Now you can truly stand tall. Let's pray. Dear God, help me to be honest and fair. Let's read another one. Chapter 43, The Loving Father and the Son Who Came Home. God always welcomes us home. Luke 15. You see the picture? Jesus told the story about God's love and forgiveness. A man had two sons. The younger said to his father, I don't want to wait until you die. Give me my inheritance now so I can do what I want. The elder son was shocked, but his father did as he was asked and the younger son left home. He quickly wasted it all and when the money had run out, no one would give him anything to eat. Eventually, he got a job taking care of pigs. He lived with pigs, ate with pigs, slept with pigs, and smelled like a pig. He was so hungry, even the slop the pigs ate looked good to him. My father's servants have plenty, and here I am starving, he said to himself. I will go home and beg my father to let me be a servant on his farm. When his father saw his youngest son coming down the road, he ran to meet his son and threw his arms around him and kissed him. No, father, said the younger son. I am not good enough to be your son. Just let me be a servant on your farm. Quick, his father said to his servants, prepare a feast. When the elder son came home and saw the celebration, he was angry. You threw a feast for that no good son of yours, he said to his father. Both of you are my sons, his father said, and I will never stop loving you. One of my boys was lost and now is found. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for always forgiving my mistakes and welcoming me home. Hmm, that's a nice one. All right, let's read one more. Chapter 44, Jesus Calms the Storm. God is in charge. Luke 8, 
and Matthew 8. Let's go to the other side of the lake, Jesus suggested one day, wanting to find a quiet place to rest. He and his disciples got into a boat and started sailing. Bright sunlight sparkled on the water and gentle waves rocked Jesus to sleep. But while he napped, the wind began to blow and waves crashed onto the deck. The boat was filling with water and the disciples were terrified it would sink. Master, master, they cried, wake up, we are going to drown. Jesus stood and spoke quietly to the wind. Calm, be gentle. And to the waves he said, peace, be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped blowing, the waves stopped crashing, and all was peaceful once again. Jesus turned to his friends. Why were you afraid? Don't you trust God to protect you? The disciples stared at each other with their mouths hanging open in amazement. Who is this man? They whispered. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Let's pray. Dear God, help me to trust you when I am afraid. Amen. All right, Kid Stuff Kiddos, those are our three stories today on who Jesus was as an adult. I hope you learned something. I hope you maybe heard something different in these stories if you've heard them before. I hope that you enjoyed them, and I hope to see you again next week. All right, everyone. Have a great week. Bye.